Welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. It's all about home security this week, and what a better way to do that than keep your home well lit. So I've got a cool new product for you. It's the Heath Zenith LED Solar Light. It's a motion detector security light that requires no electrician because it's solar powered. Here's how to install it. This Heath Zenith LED light is solar powered. In addition to charging through the solar panel, the light also has a battery reserve to ensure that it works through times when less sun is available. The light is ideal for a DIYer because there is no hard wiring required. An easy to use mounting plate also allows for simple installation. Inside the box, there was a manual and the light itself. Underneath the light were open slots for the backup batteries. The battery cover, mounting screws, and a mounting plate were also included. Then there was the solar panel itself. It was fairly lightweight and had a built-in reel attached to the back for the charging cable. I found that to be quite helpful in keeping the installation clean once I mounted it. I started the installation process by inserting three size C batteries, then adding the battery cover. Next, you need to decide whether the light's gonna be installed on the eave or flat on the wall. You can choose the alignment of E or W once you've made that decision. On the side of the light, You'll want to rotate the arrow counterclockwise to the off position. You can select the desired runtime from between 5 seconds and 5 minutes after the light has been installed. Now it was time to mount the plate in position. An arrow on the plate indicates which edge needs to face up. While holding the plate in position, I used a small drill bit to start the mounting holes on the wall. After inserting the wall anchors, I used the mallet to make sure they were seated properly. Once fastened to the wall with the mounting screws, I slid the light onto the mounting bracket and locked it into position. Next, I placed the solar unit on the roof. The instructions say you want to put it in an area that's free of obstruction from the sun. This will give you the best chance for charging. After plugging in the cord, I then secured the panel to the roof using the two mounting screws. With the unit mounted on the roof, I then wrapped the cable around the reel and slid the edge of it into the cable slot. I used another mounting screw and a plastic washer underneath the eave to avoid the chance that the cable could accidentally be disconnected from the light. All right, well, we've got a chance to get, of course, the motion sensor installed. It went pretty smoothly. I would recommend this for the DIY. This would work great around your house. And once again, no electrician required. Here's a couple of things that may help you with your install, though. Not a bad idea to have both a set of drill bits available and regular driver bits as well because you'll need that for the install along with a powered screwdriver or a power drill. Also, not a bad idea to have a mallet with you. A couple of other things that came in handy was gloves, of course, especially once you get up on the roof, and a tape measure and pencil, of course. If you love this DIY video and want to see more like it, go ahead and click subscribe and smash that like button. Until the next time, take care.